Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So I think we're all, all, almost up to episode 50 for this series now, like well, this series has been going a long time. You guys seem to really enjoy it so yeah I'll definitely keep it up. But also guys, um, I'd like to also say we hit 4,900 subscribers yesterday so we are less than a hundred away from the big 5,000 now. So let's see if we can try and get it before the end of this month. That'll be our little goal. Let's see if we can try and do that. But yeah, obviously a massive, massive thanks to everyone who has helped us on the journey so far. It's absolutely crazy. Almost at 5,000, half of 10,000. That is crazy, crazy, crazy big. So yeah, just a huge thanks to you guys for everyone. Even if you don't watch, uh, even if you're not subscribed, just a massive thanks for watching the videos um, as well. But yeah, we are so close to the big 5,000 mark so just a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed because yeah we're really close so yeah anyways with that out the way let's um start off today's um systems yeah today we're checking out a system from Lambadam mods so they're actually the winner of the last video where we did the goblin object competition and um a lot of you guys want to do more competitions so i think the next one will be sedna so yeah get working on making the sednas if you want to be part of that competition hopefully we'll get it out um, do a competition every week or something because you guys really really did like that competition so yeah i'll keep i'll keep doing that it'll be like a new series we can do who can make the best custom object for like a certain object so yeah we'll definitely keep that up but yeah anyways let's actually get into um today's video so yeah the system we're checking out from um Lamadan mods is the solan system so let's search this up so z o l here we go so here it is let's check it out so someone did say it was quite a good system, but I've not looked at it at all. So let's see what we have got here. Okay, so we start off with two binary rocket planets, it looks like. But, um, yeah, like I always do, we will go to um, the star first. Oh, I really like the um, Hatterall zone. You don't see people using um, the ones like this very often, because you can't just get it from this option here. You have to go into these settings here. And then on the option where it mentions about the Hatterall zone, you can change it. Yeah, here we go. So you can um, do this. You also have the regular one, which is the boring one. But yeah, there's some really cool ones. But yeah, for now, we're going to have that off so we can see everything. Okay, so here is our start of Zolan. It's called the Simulation Actually Runs. So it's like a little trappist system. Um, yeah, and this is the only system we um, have for today as well, since I, I didn't see a second system that they posted. So um, yeah, there is that. And also, um, I don't have a link to your YouTube um, channel, um, Lambadam Mod. So if you want to let yourself be known in the comments, go ahead and I can put you in the description. But yeah, there is um, Zolan. So yeah, 2,500 is like a red dwarf sort of star. Luminosity won't be very high yet. 500 jubes to so see yeah, a pretty little star there. Okay, so some slow down time. And let's go to the first object here. So here it is. So it's a Juno space probe. And look at the mass of it. Jeez, that's a big value for kilograms there. But yeah, it's just um, a Juno space probe, as we can see. One kilomon or one kilometer in size. Pretty big little guy that. Even though it's yeah, even though it's tiny, pretty big for a space probe. So um, yeah, there is that. Anyways, first planet it looks like. We have a moon, it seems. So we've got mess here. So there it is. So it's a moon at 300 degrees. Is it a little larger than what the moon usually is? Let's have a look. The moon normally is... I don't know the radius of the moon, actually, off the top of my head. 1738. Okay, so this is 1598. So this is a little smaller than the regular moon. But it is losing mass, so that's probably why. It probably was meant to be larger, but it's been losing mass there. So, yeah, mess. There it is. All right, so let's move on. So next up, we've got Fugo here. So this looks like a Venus-like object. Yeah, burning up. Obviously got quite hot looking colours. It does look like a Venus um, as well there. But a lot hotter than what Venus is. Pretty much perfect Earth with the mass there. So yeah, there it is. So there is Fugo. Okay, so are we going next? How big is this system anyway? Okay, it's oh, a lot of stuff in here. Oh, I'm like that. Alright, so um, next up we've got um, A or AL3V Ultimo here. So um, there it is there. So it's gone with a purple and like dark orange sort of brownish color theme. Also going with a red atmosphere. And obviously it's glowing red as well because the star is red. So it makes it look um, darker at the planet. It's also got a battery center here. So this is in orbit with this guy. I think these are the two we started off with. So um, here is this one. Oh, I really like that. Look at that. That looks good. So if we go studio mode, that's what it really looks like. But yeah, that. That is a nice looking object. Let's check the uh, stats on this. 93 on similarity, 45 on likelihood. Okay. And then what about this guy? Can we uh, select select it? Stop selecting the asteroids. Right. There we go. And then um, composition, 91 and 61. Okay. So two very um, hatable worlds here. Also got magnetic fields, as we can see. 
So you got one as well? Stop clicking the asteroids. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, so um, yeah, it does. Uh, two, um, two magnetic fields around these guys as well. Check it out. So very cool. Two binary... Um, Binary water worlds there as well, and also you making use of the barrier center. That's something people don't do much. I'm not a big fan of using those myself, but yeah, it's a barrier center there, so pretty cool. So that's where like the um, gravity point of gravity center point of center gravity or something. Yeah, barrier center is the center of mass. Yeah, center of mass. So um, yeah, there is that. Okay, next up we've got a space station. So another Juno probe. This one's at five kilometers there. So that's a very big one compared to the one we previously saw. And um, next up we've got. Lumpura. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. But yeah, we've got this one here. So it's like a Mars-like sort of object is what I'm getting from this. Minus 43, smaller than what the Earth is, red atmosphere. It's also got a, quite a large moon um, in comparison to the planet as well. So there it is there. So a little blue moon. Yeah, sort of a very, very light sky blue blue. Okay, so there is that. All right, next up, it's gone orbit. Just like I don't miss anything. Ooh. Oh, so next up we got like a comet, I'm guessing. Oh no, it's a planet. Okay, so we've got a planet with a comet orbit um, by the seams of it. So I'm guessing um, when you move it closer to the star, bad things happen. So we'll do that right now. So if we uh, move the anomaly up, pull it really close to the star. So there it is there. So yes, yeah, a lot closer. I'm guessing it'll warm up, I'm hoping. So if we put it at zero degrees, will it uh, warm up? Play. Yeah, it does warm up. And it's going to get too hot here, but... Yeah, look at that. Oh, it looks like the frozen glitch is on here as well. Look, 300 degrees here. And now it, it just turned to water at about 390 degrees there. So, yeah, frozen glitch um, logic says that water um, melts at 300 degrees. So when does water evaporate? Oh, I like the purple on it as well. So, yeah, water's still good at 500 degrees. Okay, so how long how long till water evaporates? Okay, there it is. So about 500 degrees water evaporates um, with a frozen glitch. That makes sense. So um, there it is. So there's radicos there. But if, obviously if we move it back out into the depths of space. So um, if I can... Wait, it's motion, yeah. Um, and then move the anomaly all the way out here again. So yeah, we're far away from the start. It's probably going to cool down nicely. So there we go. It's cooling down. I don't know if the water's going to return though since it may have all been... Um, thrown off it when it got too close to the star i oh, know there is still water there so water you're gonna return okay well um let's check its orbit as well i think it just needs to cool down a bit more yeah so it can go all the way out here so look at that all the way out there <laughs> so it's gonna get all cold again so 220 yeah that's gonna cool down pretty quick so if we pull it at zero degrees is the water gonna return yeah and there you go so the water's returning so i'm guessing that's gonna freeze up straight away Huh, maybe putting it a planet close to the star and then undoing it will fix the glitch. Because it seems the water's working normally now, but I don't know, I could be wrong. Maybe that's another little fix of the frozen glitch there. Um, but anyways, let's move on. So next up we've got, oh, I like this. So, Ant for you. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, it's got rainbow rings. Second planet we've ever seen with rainbow rings there. Oh, look at that. It looks so good. So we've got, starts off with yellow, goes a bit orange, red, white... And it goes Neptune blue, bright green, and then um, purple in the top. Oh, that looks great. Look at that. So if we turn all this off, go on an all black background or just stars. No, no, we'll go all black. Look at the rings. They're so cool. Look at that. I really like the rainbow rings. I have to say they are just some of the coolest things that you guys have managed to come up with there. They are so cool. So um, anyways, um, there's our planet. How I really do like that, actually, the colors on it. So 1.25 Jupiter. It's bigger than Jupiter as well. Okay, oh, we've got an IO here, okay, so, um, Yander, Yanderui, so there it is there, so it's an IO, as we can see, okay, has he gone with the Galilean moons here, so we've got a Europa, is that a Europa, we've got this one here, okay, no, so they're not all Jupiter moons, okay, so um, we've got this one over here, so this is a frozen world, obviously it's probably based off Europa, since there is an IO here, but yeah, there is that one, okay, moving on, I really like those rings, um, then we've got Teal C here, so it's going to Teal Atmosphere, or Cyan Atmosphere, with a red surface and a bit of blue on the surface. Oh, that's a nice mix of colour there as well. That's really cool. Okay, next up we've got Washington. Okay, so this is a Titan um, object, cloudy brownish orange. There it is there with the Titan texture underneath. Okay, so I'm guessing Titan and I are maybe some of his favourite moons there, but um, yeah, very, very cool uh, nonetheless. And yeah, I really like those rainbow rings, and that gas giant looks really sweet as well. Okay, so next up we've got three over here. So, um, yeah, we'll go all the way over here. So this is actually the furthest object right now. 
So here it is here. I really like the purple. The purple looks pretty good on that. Along with this colour here. So it's a dark yellow. That is a nice mix of colour. I really like that light purple. I think it looks really cool. Look at that. I like that. That's a pretty cool object. And then it's got a moon called Free Man. Oh, so it's a Free Man. <laughs> See, we've got um, Man here. So there it is. So going with more of a brownish sort of colour with a blue and white um, lighter colour there. Okay. So there are those. Okay, so um, let's move on. So it looks like the last object. I know there's a few more. Okay. So yeah, next up we got, um, if we can get to it, that that one. Click that one. There we go. Audio. Oh, is that a cloudy purple? Or is that a gas giant? I can't tell. I think it's a gas giant. Oh, yeah, look at that. Purple gas giant. Oh, does look good. So it's about, okay, smaller than Saturn, larger than Uranus. So there, okay. Some mid-sized sort of gas giant. It's got another Titan orbit in it there. 40 degrees. Okay, so this thing's actually um could be Hatter underneath. Is there water here? I'm guessing maybe there is. So, so I do see clouds. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks good. With the clouds as well. Wow, that is that is nice with the clouds. That clouds make it look great. 90 similarity, 7 likelihood. Pretty good for an object this far in the system as well. If we go to realistic, it's very, very dark here. So pretty good job. Uh, getting those stats from this distance. Look, it's almost dark here. Let's all see the stars not very bright, but yeah, that is a nice look at it. I mean, if we go on flashlight again, the clouds look like if you remove the clouds, it will not look as good. But yeah, but look at the clouds. Really give it some real effect, I think. That looks really cool. And obviously, the atmosphere on it sort of hides it all away, but that is a very nice looking object there. Okay, so we've got another moon as well. So I've um, got this one here, and this is a Mercury, it seems. There we are. So it's a Mercury there. Okay, cool. So there we go. So we like some of the default sort of um, objects there that we already have in the menu. But still really, really cool nonetheless. Okay, next up we've got Wormhole. Artificial. Uh, artificial. <laughs> uh, artificial, sorry. Jeez, I'm goofing up today. So you've got Wormhole here. So this, I'm guessing this is a black hole. Only got one Earth in mass, but yeah, this is a wormhole. So you can use this to like travel to different parts in space, I believe is what a wormhole is. Yeah, there's a wormhole. Whoa, it's pretty crazy stuff. So, where's the? Is there an exit for this wormhole, or does that just go into the? Go into God knows where. Okay, so if we zoom out, so this was an Earth. You can see the trail color. Would have been Earth at one point. So there it is there, and it always has a climate mode. So you can get a climate mode on black holes. Okay, so the outside Garrettian. Oh, it looks like Planet Nine. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Or is it my Planet Nine? I think that may be my Planet Nine actually. This object's gone like a full loop. It's gone... Get, I've given it out to you guys, and now it's been returned to me here. I'm assuming this is mine, or this was mine, um, there. So, um, there we go. Then we've got Vance over here. So, there it is there. So, these guys are really, really far away. So, they'll be completely pitch black here. But yeah, look, I think this is my Planet 9. Let's get a quick comparison. So, here's my Planet 9 here. And we should do a competition with Planet 9, some of you guys were saying as well. Definitely. Definitely, that'd be really cool. So there's my Planet 9. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they're the same. Actually, no, no, hang on. Mine is a slightly darker blue, I think. So I think this... I don't think this is mine, actually. I, th I think, yeah, this is my one here. I think that's slightly different. You can see the clouds on it are slightly um, different as well. You see the lines, the bands on it. You can see from the picture here. If I click on this one, they change. Like you can see... Yeah, so my one is slightly different. Okay, so, yeah, that is a really good replica, though. Because, um, obviously, that was probably based off my Planet 9. That's what I'm assuming anyway. But, yeah, that is a really, really good replica of my Planet 9. You had me fooled. Like, yeah, you had me fooled with that. Or unless it is my Planet 9, it's been slightly altered. I don't know. But, yeah, that that's cool. Yeah, I, I like I like that Planet 9 anyway. So, um, yeah, there we go. So, that's the outside Garudian. Or is it meant to say Guardian? I don't know. But, yeah, there we go. And there's a ton of asteroids there. So, I'm guessing this is meant to be an Oort cloud by um by my guess. I think that's meant to be an Oort cloud covering around the whole system. So, really cool. No one's ever done like something like that with, like, an Oort cloud. That's a pretty cool little feature. And I'm guessing that's it. But, yeah, there is it for the Zo... Or that is it for the Zoland system. So, yeah, really cool system. I really like, like, the Oort cloud at the end there. That's, that's cool. I like that. And obviously, I think my favorite planet, 100%, is this one here. The that, that gas giant, oh, it does look good. I really like that. I have to say, that is cool. But yeah, second place definitely goes to this guy. This one here, this looks so cool when the atmosphere is hidden. And it looks like it's slightly lighter color than the, what the normal Titan is as well, um, by the looks of it. But maybe it's because it's got water below. But yeah, this thing here is just 
I really like the way that looks. Like, if we remove the atmosphere again, that is a beauty. Look at that. Yeah, so that one and then the gas giant there. They are my two favourites for this um, system. But, yeah, guys, let me know. What did you think um, of this system down below in the comments? I think this is really, really cool. So, yeah, special thanks to, um, obviously, Lambda Mods for sending this in. This is really, really cool. I, definitely a thumbs up from me. I really like this. And, yeah, like I said, let me know which um, planet you guys um, like the most. But, yeah, these, those two are definitely my favourites um, there. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think down below. And, obviously, if you've got any systems to send in, I'm actually... Um, I think I'm running low on systems to actually do right now. So if you want to go all crazy with uh, posting systems, definitely um, send me some. Because I am i haven't seen many new ones posted recently. So, yeah, definitely um, send some more if you want to um, do that. But, um, yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure you um, hit that like button. Let's see if we can go for 40 likes on this video. And also subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 5,000 subscribers. Because, yeah, we are really, really close. And obviously a massive thanks again um for watching this video and obviously for watching all the videos just a huge thanks to you guys it's absolutely amazing but um yeah that is everything so make sure you guys all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye